What are the flashpoints in the Western Balkans, or if we can say that, hotspots right now? Uh, I would say uh, that over, overwhelmingly, we don't have them. So if you look at our relationship with Albania and North Macedonia, uh, they, in my opinion, are ready to begin the uh, discussions on uh, EU candidacy. And we're hoping that they do that, that the EU recognizes it and begins those discussions this calendar year. Uh, our partnership with both of those countries, both within NATO and bilaterally, has been outstanding. They've been good uh, allies, good partners, great friends, and that's what I'm selling to the European Union. That's what they can expect from these countries. And behind them, Montenegro, which has uh, made enormous progress on their path to, to Europe. They are a solid NATO partner. Uh, we're working very closely uh, with the European Union on the EU-led dialogue between Serbia and Kosovo. Uh, and I'm happy to report that we don't have any areas of disagreement with the European Union on this question. Additionally, as I mentioned, we have this emerging partnership with Serbia that's been very beneficial to both countries. We just recently celebrated 140 years of diplomatic relations with Serbia. Uh, and that trajectory that we've had for a, a uh, century and a half, we hope to continue. Uh, and in Bosnia, we do have very good prospects for European integration if people recognize that Bosnia must remain a sovereign, independent, territorially whole country with uh, full respect for Dayton. How to save off the threats of the country dissolution, the transfer of competencies and weakening the states advocated by Milora Dodik? People are afraid of new war and so far no sanctions have been imposed on those using threats. Yeah, well, first of all, um, I want to have my discussions with the ambassador before we announce any new sanctions. That is on the table. Uh, but I do want to say to the people of Bosnia, there will not be another war. Uh, we, the international community, and we are united with our partners in, in Europe, uh, is that we want to make sure that uh, our commitments to the peace and security of the people of the region are met. But with regard to uh, the weakening of the central institutions, I'll be very honest. The reason behind this is really about corruption. What Milorad Dodik is doing is he's trying to look for ways to protect his power and his money. So I'm asking people not to match that, not to enable him to do that. 